Message. Hello, it's your Commodore, Ty Coles here, your commanding officer to the world of pop culture, specifically the nerdy stuff. Two years ago, I did a top 10 hottest women in Star Trek list. And by God, it's by far, by far the most viewed video I have on this channel. But looking back on it, I wasn't, I'm not really impressed with what I did. It was a response to anti trekkers list, but it didn't really feel like I gave you my true opinion. And I was restricted to the, the people he was given. So I decided to go back and redo it. So let's start it off. Honorable mention to Bijal. Bijal? I don't know how to properly say her name, but she was introduced to us on Star Trek Picard. I just find her ridiculously attractive, but she has that mysterious aura around her. And she has a bit of that seductiveness and sexuality just comes naturally to her, like a seductress almost. Kill him. Wait. New plan. Honorable mention. Lieutenant Uhura. She is amazing. She's groundbreaking. She was a groundbreaking character. Very attractive, smart, lots of curves, and thick in a good way. And had a very nice voice to, as well to go with her looks. But let's get to the list now. It's ridiculously hard to pick the hottest women of Star Trek because there are so many of them. But I did my best and I hopefully you agree. If not, remember people, this is my opinion. This is my taste. So let's begin. Number 10. Commander Shelby. She is all over attractive. She's nice to look at, great curves, confident, a go-getter, and just you can see yourself falling for this woman. Number nine. Ardra. Ooh. She just has that sexuality to her, but she wants to just play with your emotions and stuff and toy with you. You would have had a lot more fun if you'd lost. Till we meet again, Jean-Luc Picard of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Number eight. Yeoman. Tonia Bauer. She's like more of that wholesome girl next door look, which I do find quite attractive. Just the way she looks and the way she carries herself. You know, she also has that kinky side to her because of what she was thinking when she was on the planet. She's one of the probably the only reasons to watch the original series episode, Shore Leave. Number seven. Ensign Robin Leffler. Looks great, smart, a go-getter, competent, like, she's what you want to see in a woman. Robin Leffler. Hi. Hi. Your neutrinos are drifting. So what? She has the look and she has the brains. Unfortunately, uh, for some reason, she thinks Wesley's good. Number six. Andrea, the sexiest android you see in Star Trek. When she came on screen, you probably, most men's jaws probably hit the floor and wondered how that dress stayed on. Like, she is va va boom, people. Attractive, wish she had more screen time, people. Number five. Larissa, the Romulan that infiltrated Starfleet. She has that seductive confidence and just that mysterious, plus she has some amazing curves on her. And just the way she talks and the way she carries herself is just sexual. And she's quite a good looker too. Number four. Major Kira. She's one of my all-time faves. Between the way she looks and her attitude and what she wears, everything about her, hot. If I counted Mirror Universe uh, characters in my list, she would definitely be my number one. Number three. To Paul. Malcolm Reed says it best. Oh, she's pretty. You ever noticed her bum? But 
That bum. She's got an awfully nice bum. To sub commander to Paul. And I got to tend to agree. She looks mighty sexy. And no matter what you honor, whether it be her PJs, her uniform, a TOS uniform, whatever, she managed to make it look hot and sexy. Number two. Seven of nine. Oof. What more can I say about seven of nine that people haven't already said? She's hot, plain and simple. The way she looked in Voyager to even the way she looked in Picard. And in Picard, you kind of get that rough, dirty hot from her. Like she knows how to kick your ass, but you would enjoy it. Number one. Dr. Helen Noel, by far, probably in my opinion, one of the hottest women to ever grace the Star Trek screen. She has everything. She has this the hot look, the curves, the sexuality, the seductiveness, and she saved the day. I wouldn't need a uh, mind control uh, beam to make me fall in love with her. Madly in love with Helen. You're absolutely right. No need for this. Where is she? So tell me how I did in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, people. So for your Commodore Ty Coles, Live long and prosper, hailing frequencies closed. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my other videos, and if you can show your support by donating to my PayPal. So for Commodore Ty, live long and prosper all, and for now, until next time, the hail and frequencies are closed.